So most virtual reality content is actually being created using tools that were developed by the games industry. And that's because the games industry is the only industry with the technology and the tools and the talent to create immersive real-time 3D worlds. Most people, when they think about a, a video game, that's typically what's known as a 720 or a 1080 experience. Two million pixels at 60 frames per second. If you do that in VR, the first challenge you have is you need to do it in stereo because it's two eyes. So you need to go from whatever that resolution is and whatever that frame rate is to twice as much, say 120 frames per second or 60 frames per second per eye. That's not enough. Your body is very sensitive to the visuals matching up with what's happening in your head. If what your eyes are seeing don't match with what your inner ear is feeling, you get motion sick. So the way you do that is you reduce the latency between what happens on the screen and what you're feeling in the ear. So as soon as you move your head, we want to see something on the screen. And the only way to really improve that is to raise the frame rate so that the visuals are updated much more frequently than we would usually do. So where most people are heading are between 85 and 90 frames per second per eye, three times the frame rate of your traditional kind of PC or console game. Fast material with interactivity, the ability to look around and control things, and give people the sort of feeling of being in a world that they're not. The virtual reality demands real-time graphics capability, and that's what using game engines is all about. A game engine is a fully featured system for creating a video game, handling everything from the graphics to the actual gameplay. You know, enables you to make a virtual world, place virtual characters. They happen to be applicable to virtual reality, to all sorts of things. So a game engine allows people to create things that look like their professional CG quality without actually necessarily understanding all of the underlying problems of animation, of physics, of lighting, of shadows, because they can rely on the game engine to create those uh, holistically. The tools and technology are finally getting to that point. It's really just plug and play. It's making the, the Oculus work, for example, is as simple as plugging it in and going full screen. You know, it just works. Yeah. What used to take a team of 100 people to actually build this content is now teams of 10, and then now we're even seeing individuals. I'll do these awesome 3D renderings in Maya or 3DS Max, and, and then it's like a minute, a second to render it out. So I don't even know how a game engine works, because we'll create it, we'll put all the stuff in there, and then we can race through, we can see it all real time. Like, where's the rendering power? How is it thinking that fast? I don't know, but they figured it out, and I'm using it. Many films, they actually are just manually animating the reactions of everything. They're not relying on a physics engine to take care of that necessarily. If I was making a movie and it had a car chase in it, traditionally, if it was a computer-generated car chase, we would animate these things by hand and have a very laborious process. In the game engine, you set up a car, you drive it around, and then you can basically shoot shots in that virtual world as if it was a real physical car, which is not the way that we work in movies for the most part if it's computer generated. I'm more used to if I'm gonna move a tree from point A to point B, one artist does that, somebody has to adjust lighting in the scene, and then somebody presses render, and then hey, we'll all get a chance to look at that shot in the morning. When we're building these same environments in Unreal, you move that tree around in real time, the lighting adapts, and the wind is blowing through the tree in real time the entire time you're moving it. So I think part of me feels like it shouldn't be that easy, but most of me is just very happy that it is. Game engines have really been designed almost explicitly towards virtual reality as an eventual goal. I mean, higher frame rates, better graphics, better lighting, better shadows, just to make an overall more realistic experience. And the missing piece has been the input and output components of virtual reality. That makes game engines really the perfect and obvious choice for rendering virtual worlds.